Park School was was the oldest school in Canada on on its original site. Um, I became involved in the school when my youngest son was in about grade three, and he got in some trouble with the uh, principal and and the teachers. And I went in to um, advocate on his behalf that it wasn't his fault that he was being picked on. And the principal and I got into a little bit of an argument as to whether or not my son had a bad temper or not. And I told him he didn't, that I had a bad, anyway. Um, after that, I, I was asked to join uh, a staffing committee, which is which lays out what hours the school is open and which grades are put together and, and um, uh, how many are put together. From from there, I, I became the um, co-chair of the parent council, uh, and I, I was really involved in the school. Around about that time, we had a change in government. The Ontario government was uh, uh, cutting costs and, and put the squeeze on the Toronto District School Board, and they were closing schools. One of the ones they wanted to close was Park School. If they had done that, you guys wouldn't be going there now. About that time, Mandela, Nelson Mandela, was uh, let out of prison after however many years he was, and, and Park School did a presentation, and the kids studied up on it, and when he wound up in uh, Sky Dome, he was really impressed with the presentation that Park School had put on. From there, he, he was looking for uh, schools that, that would um, carry his name, and Park School was nominated, and we wanted, I, I thought that it was um, a good idea to have Mandela's name on that school because then, um, well, the government and the school board would be really embarrassed if they had to close it. So that's, that's one of the reasons why it is still open today, uh, why all the changes were done to it and, and uh, the additions put on.